In this problem, the goal is to find the current I1, and we want to use the node voltage method. So always begin by counting the number of nodes. I see one, two, three, and four nodes. Next step, go ahead and label those nodes with their node voltages. Also need to select one of those as a reference node. So I'll call the top one V1, middle one V2, off to the right V3, leaving the reference node at the bottom. So I'll begin by writing the equations for the first node. We have a total of three currents, and those currents are minus 5 amps, V1 minus V3 over 12, and V1 minus the other node voltage is V2 divided by 6. So for the first equation, we would write minus 5 plus V1 minus V2 3 over 12 plus V1 minus V2 over 6 equals 0. Moving on to V2. I think we don't need that. We have 1, 2, 3 currents. Current the first current here then is V2 minus V1 over 6. Next is V2 minus V3 over 4. And then we have finally this current V2 minus 0 divided by 18. So let's try to wedge those in here someplace. So our second equation then is just the simply the sum of those three different currents. And then at our third node, we have a total of three currents again. So the top one is V3 minus V1 over 12. Then we have V3 minus V2 divided by 4. And let's write this one down here. V3 minus the ground, which is 0, divided by 6. That gives us equation number 3 as V3 minus V1 over 12 plus V3 minus V2 over 4 plus V3 over 6 equals 0. Okay, I just got finished typing in those three equations into Maple. And that wasn't what I was quite looking for, so let me stick a restart in front of that. Same equation. So that gives me confidence that everything's working out there. Let me go ahead and say that this solution is assigned to solve the system of equations. It tells me the three node voltages. Coming back to the circuit, what we need to find our current I up here. I is V2 minus V3 over the resistance between them, which is 4 ohms. So I'll continue down here. Coming back to our Maple worksheet, we see V2 is 27 and V3 is 21.
So this is 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5 amps. And that's the end of the problem. If you wanted to confirm in your own work that you were getting the same voltages, simply come back here and make note of uh, V1 is 45 volts, V2 is 27 volts, and V3 